Welcome to another commentary done by DD upper right hand corner. We got DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss. Upper left hand corner, we got Bonnet starting as the red Protoss. This is, of course, on Fighting Spirit because it is Fighting Spirit Mania. And this is the lower brackets finals. So basically, DeWalt uh, made it all the way to the end of the lower bracket. Bonnet made it to the top of the winner's bracket. This is now the grand finals, but DeWalt needs to win, win this and then another seven of best of sevens in order to win the entire thing where Bonneth only needs to win this best of seven at which point he will be victorious in uh, and prove that he is the best player it's really kind of pedantic isn't it it's like he'll prove that at this period in time he was the best player on fighting spirit but that is what the StarCraft community is about and that means he deserves all the act we should make him the world supreme leader as a result because clearly that makes him a better person and all of those sort of things. Diggity said an extreme jest. All right, Pylon away from, I'm wondering if this is gonna be some interesting. So we got a gateway at a very back position. This is usually uh, I'm accustomed to seeing the gateways closer to the ramp. Wondering if this is signaling some attempt at tech. And this position forward to the ramp is suggesting that we are potentially going to see... I There have been times I have seen Bonneth place this here and not go for a uh, potential two gate. But it is, when we've seen the previous two gates, this is kind of where he likes placing them. But he's already gone a simulator behind this, so ignore that. Let me actually pay attention to the map. Worker bottom left, going to the right. DeWalt making his way bottom right. Cybernetic score up. I'm expecting maybe three gate out of Bonneth actually with this configuration. We'll have to see. And expecting maybe Robo play. First sell it being produced. It's got a long time to travel to get to that ramp. So Bonneth should be able to get this probe into the map. That's kind of the other disadvantage actually of placing it back here. Is this is a you gotta wander quite a ways to get in position. Could be a map to experiment as well. Or it could be that DeWalt didn't realize what spawn he was in. That's another option. Where he thought he was bottom right and he was actually top right. So the Zealot... Again, yeah, I think if the Zealot was... If the gateway was here, that Zealot would have been able to block the ramp. With that timing. In the meantime, Zealot hanging out on the ramp. Dragoon being constructed. So informational advantage to Bonneth. Dragoon constructing behind this. So, at least in the initial stages, even, nice micro there by Bonneth to make sure that probe isn't going anywhere. Still might want to hang around, or is it just going to return to home base? Which, okay, if it just returns to home base, I'm thinking this has probably got to be an observer opener, one gate into observer. I would be a little bit surprised if it wasn't, and I'm wondering if Bonneth, upon seeing that, thinks the same thing. Because the only reason I can think is either you got to scout with your... Upon not seeing a second gateway, or seeing a second gateway that far back, that would be what I was thinking. It could just be mind games. Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but that's what we do in StarCraft. Never mind, DeWalt brought the probe back around. Bonneth with the mind read, though, and able to get the kill. So scrap all that all together. And now I have said too much. But it is, hey, I called it, though. One gate, robo. At the very least. Wonder if DeWalt was thinking, ah, I need to show that probe again so that he's not, but we are seeing one gate robo opposite end as well. So it looks like it is mirrored builds thus far and just one worker up here for Bonneth with the uh, previous worker kill out on the map. Second gateway dropped. Are we going to see a second gateway drop from Bonneth? It looks like yes. So this is going to be pretty heads up. It's really fun, I gotta say, on kind of what, as a StarCraft fan, what I enjoy about this is when you have two guys, never mind, three gate follow-up, is just seeing some of the map positioning, especially at, on equalized builds. So it's gonna be three gate observer initially here. Same build opposite side. We are in for a micro feast here, ladies and gentlemen. Bonneth, in the meantime, looks like he wants to get a Pile on out to the 12 o'clock location just in case shuttles were headed his direction. DeWalt sending in a, yet another probe out. 
to try to get eyes. Right now, with the current Dragoon and Zealot count on the front, it would still look like uh, a lower gateway count. And as though he was positioning for an expansion, instant snipe. Dewalt in position to do exactly the same. So both players low on information, not able to confirm natural expansions. But we know, we know that the builds are mirrored. And both players starting to move out. So it is going to come down to who gets the first shot. The Observer actually going across the north. I'm not sure if there's a world where Bonneth sees the, the shade of that Observer, but a Zealot leading forward. Bonneth spots it, DeWalt spots it. They reposition. I think both players have to know at this stage, okay, we're going up against very similar builds. DeWalt has a Dragoon a little bit far forward here. Trying to turn around. Nice focus fire. Getting one Dragoon down earlier. Two Dragoons down earlier. So DeWalt getting the better positioning. And getting two very nice focus fire shots. That could be it here. Because again, mirror build situation. Reinforcements making the way out. The Observer moving forward to try to confirm what's out there. The Observer, This Observer going to cycle around. It's pinned back. Kind of an interesting scenario with the Observer makes its way too far to the left. Gives an opportunity for DeWalt to press in. And still going to press in. Another volley kill right there. More good focus fire. And Bonneth now in dire straits. Not the map, but the situation. And the Observer... Yeah, had confirmed the three observers. Bonneth's observer down. Still holds the high ground. But as far as a follow-up now, Dewalt can hold the low ground, get his expansion up more er uh, earlier, I should say, more early. And he is, in fact, going to do so. The observer getting pushed back as well. So a lot of wins here. And also, this latent Dragoon going to find some pylons. So going to be able to wipe out a pylon to the 12 o'clock, and there's not a lot that Bonneth can do about it, I don't think. That being said, Bonneth making his way down. Focus fire one down. And these are some weakened Dragoons. Where not a lot of the Dragoons were weakened on DeWalt's side. So again, able to find the weakened Dragoons. And pick them off very rapidly. So Bonneth was trying to make up the difference with some Zealots. And DeWalt not having any of it. So not only is he going to get the pylon. Able to shove in and get some additional damage. A Reaver now out for Bonneth. And that actually, upon being spotted, is going to press DeWalt back. So basically, Bonneth and mm, might be able to take out this pylon before these troops can respond. So that's a lot of losses now for Bonneth. 10 supply lead for DeWalt. Going to have that natural expansion up. The Observer going to be able to confirm it. DeWalt, I guess, is going to know that his opponent knows, though. Kind of weird. I know that you know that I know. Sort of scenario there. Robotics is up opposite side. The Reavers starting to populate as well. The Observer... Oh, the Dragoon. Was that a bad rally? Taking some free shots. Bonneth still needing to back up. The Observer able to confirm. And actually holding. And that's actually kind of a nice bit of information. Able to confirm the shuttle and the Reaver. Bonneth... I got to imagine he's not going to go for a natural expansion here. Because he had... S Maybe he is. He had so many losses, though. I'm a little bit shocked. But positioning that probe as though he's just going to wait and go for it. Maybe with some double reaver play. Even without the speed, he can make it happen. There is a pause, apparently, in between. It's always weird when that happens and just you get a wall of text. Makes me feel like I'm in a time warp of some kind. But the observer waiting along that ring. This observer is going to try to bully things out to... Deny information, but now Bonneth with the two Reavers making his way out. The Observer a little bit out of position to spot it. But a shield battery up. A whole lot of Dragoons. A supply lead and two additional gateways on the way. Two Reavers on the low ground. They do not have shuttle support, but I think they have enough Dragoon positioning where it'll be okay. And the Observer moves forward, sees a lack of troops, so DeWalt knows the attack's coming. So now it's going to come down to some Bonneth Reaver Micro. Also has this Observer toward the forward edge. That Reaver getting pelted. DeWalt moving in. Able to get one Reaver down and the shuttle, so it's no longer protected. And now he can just back up 
These Dragoons on the ramp, these shots are huge. Just absolutely splash everything. And it looks like Bonneth not focus firing on that Reaver in this attack. For reasons I'm not sure why. And now it's able to scoop up in that shuttle and that's GG. Maybe a little bit of shaking his head disappointment that he didn't... Felt like, okay, that attack didn't go the way I was hoping. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It looks like DeWalt able to close out the set. So you can see it happen on screen, although there'll be a black screen in between. The set overall is scored one to one, and we're going to head to another best of seven between these two. I got to figure out which one of these I'm going to, how many, because I'm not going to commentate all these best of sevens, but it's fun games in the meantime. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.